It was very early in the morning and we were standing in the freezing rain, everything was soaked um, and we were in mud with mosquitoes and then when you see the bonobos and you observe them, you just forget about everything. It is eternal bliss. I represent BINCO. BINCO stands for Biodiversity Inventory for Conservation and we were asked to uh, support WWF in their projects in Malabo. The mission was a big success. We we're very happy with um, the results that we obtained. We overall found that the, the biodiversity was uh, really high in this region and we, we found the presence of um, some intact stretches of ecosystems. We found 27 species of mammals, but it included a couple of um, species with conservation concern. The, the dwarf crocodile, buffaloes, forest elephants, there is uh, healthy populations of bonobo still in the region. For birds, we found 158 species with at least seven species with a substantial range extension, um, such as, for instance, uh, Zenker's honey, honey guide and um, possibly one new species for DRC, which is the forest swallow. So we're not even talking about in invertebrates. We were able to confirm the presence of a couple of new species of invertebrates. Of course, a lot of the material still needs to be sampled. We had a team of about uh, 14 people strong that we sent into the, the, the forest. This is such an incredible biodiverse region that it, it was an, an absolute pleasure where we, we observed uh, one after the other interesting species. So maybe the bird guides go out and they bring back an amphibian or a frog. Observing bonobo in real life or observing dwarf crocodile is uh, it's an experience that you take with you for the rest of your life. It's, it's fantastic to see them in the, in the real forest. So the Malibu region is basically um, a lot of forests which are placed in a savanna matrix. And it's this interaction of habitats which makes it very interesting. So there is a, a lot of regions in the tropics which are understudied due to a, a combination of several factors. First of all, it's often very difficult to get there. And additionally, then the biodiversity in a lot of these regions is very high. So there is a lot to be discovered and, and studied. This region has a, a lot of the similar conservation problems as in other stretches in Central Africa. And uh, the major concerns at this moment is pending logging of uh, some of the regions. And of course, the second problem is there is a higher hunting pressure in the region with a lot of people that go out fishing and hunting and looking for uh, uh, bushmeat. There is indeed still a lot of ecosystems uh, which are in, in a good state. But with all these pending interactions, um, this is the moment to act. Mm -hmm.